Hey, Amy, what you got there? Cat. Yes, I see you have a cat. Um, is that the witch's cat? No, this is Holly Leaf. Holly, Holly Leaf. Okay, hi, Holly Leaf. You look just like the witch's cat. 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 Yes, yes, okay. Cat. Yes. yes. Oh, wow. Oh, where'd you come from? What? Another one? I thought... I thought we were here to talk about minifigures. Oh, we are. Okay, well, let's get going then before I, we totally lose control. Hello, I am here with Square Foot. And so, yeah, we're looking for minifigures. It's not, it's one thing that helps us to look for the smaller pieces, which for Square Foot is the camera. Which, I mean, the camera is kind of like a little square piece. But anyways, there's a larger piece that's also easy to identify, which is the head. Which, when you find it, you can actually like stick your finger in it, and it, there'll be, and there'll be like some on the back and some on the front. So, yeah, I found it easiest to look for the head, but to each their own. So you see, here's the camera, although. See that in the close-up? And yeah, with the square foot head, it's the same as the ice monster back a few series ago. There we go. Okay, here's a close-up of square foot. You can see the camera there, and his headpiece has fur that goes down on the front, in front of his chest, and fur that goes down covering most of his back. And again, that's a pretty significant uh, piece because again, like Amy said, you can stick your uh, hand, finger in between, sort of in between the fur, the front fur and the back fur. And the camera, it's a small piece, but you kind of know when you feel it. Okay, this pack contains the specter, which is this guy right here. Um, yeah, and one of the first ways that you can tell that it's him is by feeling that hood. Um, and that's a standard hood that's used in other pieces or minifigures like the Grandma Visitor. Um, but there's another piece that makes it fairly obvious that it's him. The and, chain. Yeah, the chain. So, and then one more part is the stand. Um, he doesn't have legs like a regular uh, minifigure since he's a ghost, and the stand kind of allows him to float in the air. But the other one, the other ghost, the screecher, I, I'm not good with names, but the Banshee. other ghost, the Banshee, yes. She also has the same stand, so don't go based off of that alone. All right, that just narrows it down to one of the two ghosts. All right, so... And that ghost tail is pretty cool. Here he is. See, there's the stand, which we'll show you in a close-up. All right, and he has a cape, which I'm not sure how that goes, but we'll check it in a minute. hood, give him his chains, in a second, and his, with his stand he fits, all right. Okay, here's a close-up of the Spectre, again you can see the chains he's carrying, and the stand or his ghost bottom. Okay, his tattered shawl. And of course you can see that he's wearing the hood. And there he is. All right, here we have the Banshee. And as we just said earlier, she has the same like bottom half as the Spector does. It helps to find that to limit it to those two. 
and then it helps to find her hair. It's very different from the hood because it doesn't have a thing in the front and back. It just has the back with the bumpiness because it's supposed to be curly. All right, let's open her up. So yeah, I definitely think this is cool because see, yeah, it has the same bottom half. She doesn't seem to be that happy though, unfortunately. But yeah, her hair is definite, is like this. So, <laughs> and you'll see with the close up. All right. Okay, here's the close up of the Spectre. Or, I'm sorry, the Banshee. And again, you can see uh, the bottom part of her ghost form. and her hair, which is a pretty distinctive piece. So once you feel this part, the, the ghost bottom, on either the Banshee or the Spectre, these are the only two piece uh, figures that have it, and then you just find either the hair or the hood. And if you find the chains, it's the Spectre, and if you find the hair, it's the Banshee. Okay, this pack it contains the gargoyle, and the way I know that is because I can find, I can feel the wings. And the wings are different than that of the fly monster because those are straight um, and they're, they've been used before uh, in another, with another, uh, at least one other minifigure and that was the, um, the fairy. But these wings are different because they're curved and not just curved 2D, but they're actually curved 3D. It's like they wrap around a ball and you can actually, you can definitely feel that right here. So that's the main thing. Um, that's the main thing to look for or feel for if you're trying to find the gargoyle. And once you find that, you know that it's him. All right, see, here are these curved wings that I was mentioning. So, and in this case, his, um, his head had like the hairpiece, which is kind of the horns that was already in there. And that sometimes makes it a little tricky to feel, but okay. And don't put the head on until you put the wings on. All right. There's the gargoyle. Doesn't look especially happy, but. And uh, he has child legs in that they don't bend, so he's a little bit shorter. Okay, here's a close-up of the gargoyle. And again, there's those wings, and you see how they're curved and rounded. You can definitely feel that. And look at the top of his head. He's got horns kind of like a ram that round over his head. You might be able to feel those in, the, in that uh, hair piece. But again, I just try to find the wings. The wings are very distinctive. All right, there we go.